Check out my Society6 shop at society6.com forward slash keep it crafty. Or for these specific items, you can find links in the description below. Pump up a 260 balloon almost all the way. Only leave about a four finger tail at the end. Grab the nozzle and pull the balloon back into a loop. It should only be about a four finger loop. Then twist. Continue to hold on to the nozzle while you're twisting. And then push it through the loop. This will lock it into place. If at any time the balloon feels a little bit tight, just squeeze it to distribute the air. Then make another loop, roughly the same size as the first one. It's okay if they're slightly different sizes, but just get them around the same size. These will be the dinosaur's top and bottom jaws. Next, make a three finger bubble. Now bend the bubble back as if you're making another loop, only it's gonna be a really tight loop. This is called a pinch twist. You're gonna pinch the two twists together and then twist the bubble again. It should be kind of an oval shape, and this is gonna be the dinosaur's head. Next, you're gonna make a two or three finger bubble for his neck. Then make a three finger bubble for his first arm. Make another three finger bubble and make sure you measure it against the previous one so that they're the same size, because that will be his second arm. Twist those two bubbles together. So far, you should have the top and bottom jaws, the head, the neck, and two little arms. Pay attention to the length of the rest of the balloon. You'll need enough room for a body, two legs, and a tail. I'm gonna make a five finger bubble for my dinosaur's body, but if you have a lot of balloon left, you can make it a little longer. If the end of your balloon is still a little bit deflated, you may have to squeeze it a little later on to distribute the air. Now I'm gonna make a four finger bubble for the first back leg. Then I'll make another four finger bubble for the second back leg. And of course, make sure it's the same size as the previous one. Twist those two bubbles together. I need to give the end of the balloon one last squeeze to distribute the air, and then I'm going to try to shape it into an S shape. Then make any necessary adjustments to straighten out the T-Rex's body. If everything went according to plan, this is what it should look like now. Here's the mouth, the head, a neck, two small arms, a body, two back legs, and of course the tail. 
Now you just need to draw on the face with a Sharpie. Draw some zigzag lines for the top and bottom teeth. Then draw eyes and eyebrows on both sides of the dinosaur's head. I prefer to draw them slanted upwards to give him a more menacing look. And last, draw two little slits for the nostrils. In order to make this balloon dinosaur, you'll need a pump, a Sharpie, and a 260 balloon. If you'd like to order these items on Amazon, I will leave links in the description below.